Thomas behind the back, finds Livingston, lets it go, sticks the three. Not a bad thing when he's shooting it. Livingston, a team high 20 in the game. I don't think he's hit the rim tonight. He's been feeling good here in the second half. Just a couple games ago, UMass Lowell shot under 20% from three against Loyola. Nichols, the step back, gets it to drop. Pretty. That's quite a backcourt. Nichols, Cremo, only sophomores. Those guys are going to be a handful in this conference for the next two and a half years. Two players that Will Brown is extremely excited to build around over the next couple of seasons. Harris launches back-to-back -back threes. Matty Harris, welcome back to the contest. He has 10. Tough shot. So just when you think Albany's going to creep away, Lowell gets right back into it, lead down to two. Cremo works inside for Rowley. He's been the story here in the second half. Rowley with space. Can't get it. Loose ball. Rowley gets it back, and he's mugged inside. Again, Steyer keeping that alive for his team. Won't get credited with the rebound, but getting his hand on the ball freed it up for Rowley to corral it and get to the line. One of the best offensive rebounding teams in the nation. Take another look here. It's Harris who's trying to guard Rowley. And it's already hard enough to guard the one guy, trying to stop two. With guys at six foot six, it's just not going to happen. Hey, you can't try to out jump them. The Riverhawks, what they need to do is they need to sit on Steyer's knees, push him out. Don't allow him to get off the floor. But you can't afford to trade free throws with a team like this. Rowley on the season, shooting 82%, misses the first. Here's the second. Got it. 74-71, Albany up by three with under five minutes to go. Still one more media timeout, and each team with plenty of timeouts. Here's Jones, hit hard, and he earns a trip to the line for two. A lot of good handle moves off the off the bounce by Ryan Jones here in the second half. Known as more of a, of a shooter, but getting in the lane, creating some contact, getting some good looks. 12 in the first half for Ryan Jones, just four here in the second. Here's the former New Mexico State Player of the Year. And he misses the first. Check out this move one more time. Nichols, a lot of contact there. He was looking for a travel foul first. Talking to Coach Duquette, he's so happy with Ryan Jones and the way he's been playing the last, say, six games or so. Kid works so hard. He's the kind of kid that brings films home to his dorm room, studies him, I mean, really wants to be a good player. Jones now with 17 points in back-to-back -back games. Sophomore has made major strides here in year number two at UMass Lowell. Rowley camping out inside. Enema back in. Barrels over Harris. Offensive foul. And Harris may have been in the restricted area, but he took a vicious elbow inside. Matt Harris does a good job drawing charges. I mean, you can count on that at least once, maybe even twice a game. That's a huge, huge call with four and a half minutes left for him to step in, take that charge. And Jimmy, now both teams are in the bonus. Eight team fouls for Albany, seven team fouls for UMass Lowell. Two point edge for Albany. It's been a great start to the America East. Thomas slips through, fouled and they're not gonna count the basket. The foul occurred before Thomas finished. Danes wanted to travel, Lowell wanted and one. And we'll have one and one. I, I thought this could have been an intentional. I mean, he, it's close. I mean, I wouldn't have liked the call, but certainly wouldn't have been out of the realm of possibilities for him to call that. I mean, he was definitely grabbing. There was no play on the ball at all there. Well, let's see if Jihad can settle down here and knock these two in. He's had his issues at the free throw line tonight. Three misses from the stripe. Knocks down the first. Stepping up when it matters. So after that slow start, up to 10 points, Jimmy. Yeah, as we talked about, you know, we knew we were going to hear from him. Two of five tonight, 75% for the year. All tied at 74. Don't you go anywhere. We got a great four minutes and 20 seconds coming up here from Costello. Full court press from the Riverhawks. A new look. Hadn't seen that all game. 
And a little bit of a zone here too. Cornell went 1-3-1 against Albany. Same thing here. Grayson a three. That's good. Marquise Grayson from way outside. It's one thing to go to the zone, but you can't play the zone with your hands down. Logan Primarano, he's too long. He's too athletic. Can't allow a guy to stand out there and shoot a wide open three. Harris working in the corner. Now Thomas right back to Harris. Three on the way. He got it. Harris has stepped up in the last few minutes, all tied at 77. And how about Jihad Thomas, though? The penetration and the find. Next whistle will have immediate timeout. Cremo, no good off the rim. Rebound to Jones. Here comes UMass Lowell. Jones, step back two. Nails the jumper. Lowell back in front by two. Confident shot there by Ryan Jones. Kids really stepped up his game. And Will Brown is going to use a timeout. 3-13 to play from Lowell, Massachusetts. Albany's had the lead for most of the second. Not so fast. UMass Lowell up by two on ESPN3.